I miss football a lot. <laughs> and I think anyone who is associated with football or sport in general would agree with me on that point. Obviously, the coronavirus pandemic has been uh, a horrible thing for many, many different reasons. But, and this may sound petty to a lot of people, but I think the moment it really sunk in as to how bad it was was when all the sport and the football was cancelled. That will sound petty to someone who doesn't really have an interest in sport, but when it is an integral part of your week and your routine, you'll understand. One of the major questions about this season so far has been whether or not it should be null and void. Should we cancel the season and start again? I think a lot of the people who want to null and void it are either people who don't like Liverpool <laughs> or people whose teams are struggling in the relegation zone. My team, Plymouth Argyle, is not struggling in the relegation zone. We're actually in the top three of the division. I think we're second as it stands and if we were to cancel all of the progress that we've made so far, it would be a complete disaster because Ryan Lowe and his staff have done a phenomenal job this season. It would then become Ryan Lowe's second successive season when he's finished in the automatic promotion spots of League Two and not gone up <laughs> into League One. The Exeter City chairman, Julian Tagg, was on BBC Radio Devon yesterday and he said that the overall consensus across the Football League is that we finish the season. If Exeter City were to lose all the progress that they've made, same with Argyle, it would, there would be legal problems, that, yeah, but there'd be lawsuits, there'd be all sorts of issues. But at the same time, if they finish the season as it is now, I think there'd be even more lawsuits because the amount of clubs who are struggling in the relegation zone across the Football League who could potentially escape, maybe have a few games in hand on the teams above them, if they were to be relegated just because of the coronavirus outbreak, I think that'd be a big issue. I miss football a lot. I'm sure you do too. I completely understand the reasons for which it is all being cancelled for now and totally agree with it. If people were to continue congregating in football stadiums with audiences or crowds the size of 20,000 and above, maybe even a even thousand and above, that would just be suicide to be honest. The most important thing is making sure that we gradually introduce safely the season again rather than just going back to it because oh there's a few moments we can do it let's go and do it. We have to make sure that it's the right time to progress with the season and I'm sure the authorities at the top are fully aware of that and willing to take all the appropriate measures. I think Argyle will go up this season if we finish it. I don't know if Exeter will. For Devon it'll be really good if Argyle and Exeter went up because Devon's never really been the the hub of footballing greatness has it but if two of our teams were to go up into League One that would be great. For rivalry's sake I think it would be good as well because then Argyle and Exeter will be battling out in League One but also part of me wants to see Exeter struggle but I'm sure there's lots of Exeter fans who wants to see Argyle struggle as well. Gary Neville suggested that we do a festival of football where we cram everything into a few weeks and I think that would be totally amazing. I think it would be great. It would be great for the players as well. They've been cooped up for months, not been able to play anything. I'm sure they wouldn't turn down the opportunity to finish all the games in the space of a few weeks. That would be amazing. The crowd turnouts would be phenomenal as well and it would just be a fantastic example of how strong the British people are and how much we care about getting back to normal how much we care about our culture and it would be a huge celebration of all the nhs staff the key workers the teachers the bankers the shop workers the shelf stackers all these people who have plowed in their time to help this nation recover from the covid19 pandemic stay safe wash your hands and i will see you very soon got a few good things planned for you that you can consume in your isolation and uh, i hope you enjoy all right bye bye